This is the story of how the Devil's Porridge Museum started about 25 years ago and I said what what can we do to put Easter eggs on the map and the idea came about when I visited Ronnie Drysdale in his house and he showed me this this sale book where Easter eggs was up for sale in 1924 and that sort of that sort of raised my curiosity and I went about and researched it a bit and I found about about the, about the story of the greatest factory on earth here at HM Factory Gretna. It was an amazing story. I was surprised that I didn't know anything about it and that very few people in Easter eggs knew anything about it at all. So that was really the start of it. And from that moment on I went about finding people who, who would help out to set up the Devil's Porridge Museum and we went about seeing how if a museum to tell the story of East Riggs and Gretna was possible. How did you start finding all the information to go in the museum? It's just a good job that we knew that Gordon Rutledge, who wrote the book Gretna's Secret War, he he had kept the porridge pots which women had mixed the devil's porridge in. Why is it called the devil's porridge? The devil's porridge, uh, it came from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He came to visit the great factory in 1916. He saw the women uh, mixing the devil's porridge paste, very, very explosive, and he said, it looks like porridge, that stuff, but it's the devil's porridge. And there are so many interesting objects in the museum. Where did they all come from? Well, we've got some main ones at the start of the process. We've got the porridge pots and various things from the Ministry of Defence. Uh, we put a, a a plea for people to bring their photographs and anything to do with, with the factory and we got lots of information from the National Archives in London for example and the Imperial War Museum. Are you still collecting more objects? Uh, we're, we're still collecting lots of, ar lots of uh, artifacts for a collection. We're hoping to get more photographs uh, from the Pearson collection in the Science Museum in London. Uh, but there was also an exciting discovery of where the war records of the women in the First World War have been discovered. What are war records? It would be their work records during the war. Do you think the museum will keep getting bigger and better? Yeah, when, when we first set up 25 years ago, we were told this museum will never work, it will never be able to, we will never be able to afford to run it but they didn't bank on the 40 volunteers we've got now to keep it going. Uh, we started off as a one-star museum in when we first started off in the church in Eastricks and we bought from one, two, three, right up to five stars today.